All right, so this is going to be a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and as well Scorpio Rising. Our weekly general tarot reading June 1st to June 7th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a uh, personal reading, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. Um, as well, if you like the way I read tarot cards and you want to learn to read the same way, uh, the next tarot class is starting at um, 21st of June. I know it's a six weeks long tarot class. Um, I lecture each week with the duration of a two hours and uh, you can sign up for it by going into the tarot classes section at my website. So that being said, for us Scorpio, the first card which stands for the topic of our week, that is going to be the Seven of Pentacles. Moving next, we do have the uh, energies which are feeding and supporting the topic. And why I'm not surprised here, we do have the Hierophant, followed by the challenges that we will have to face and overcome. That is to be the Six of uh, Swords. Then what we do have it is the... Uh, Gifts and the blessings that we get to enjoy throughout the week. So we have the King of Cups, followed by the um, impression that we're going to leave into the people around. We have the Star card and the last one, which is the guidance the Tsar is offering. That is to be the Five of Pentacles. Wow, that, that is quite interesting. So... Um, this week itself, we have the chance to make a retrospection into our behavior, into our deeds, you know, and into our enterprises, in anything that we do. Because with the Hierophant as the energies, it is highly likely that we get to recognize, you know, what we have to do in order to um, end up fulfilled. It is not about end up beneficial, it's not about end up successful, but it is about a ending up fulfilled from our endeavors in terms of career and in terms of relationship. Now, I'm saying that because under the energy of the Hierophant, it's very likely that we're going to stop concerning ourselves with how much money we're going to get from a specific project or for, from a specific um, favor that we do or, or, or from a specific job. The nature of the project, endeavor and job, it is what is going to pull us toward doing it or the long-term consequences of it instead of, of the immediate benefits that we can get from it. As well, uh, it is highly likely that we are going to revisit our way how we are connecting with people around. You know, instead of connecting with people purely on an emotional basis, we are going to be more prone to check against, can we trust that person? Can we have them as a reliable companion with us? Or not because as much as we love or like somebody if we cannot trust them if we cannot find them reliable to our um, uh, to our environment then we, we can't really be in a relationship with these people can we so that being said this is why we're gonna make that huge retrospection in our life in general and that will force us into the situation itself which is the seven of Pentacles so with that situation two things are going to happen First of all, um, throughout the week, there are going to be a uh, important, uh, important um, event that is going to take place, uh, which is lurking behind the corner. And it's pretty much the key to uh, all of our concerns in, in a specific narrative. Okay. And as well, the second thing that this situation is all about, it is uh, about catching up a break. So we can uh, carefully analyze what we are giving and what we are getting in return from it. So in other words, how we can end up fulfilled from our manifestation in our career or in our relationship without, you know, feeling kind of like that we have been abused, that we are wasting our time or that we are giving away too much. So uh, it is the, um, uh, like I said, it is a week where we are going to take it a bit slowly than usual. Uh, that, that is because we will be able to, um, how can I say, to adopt the accurate approach for a moving forward into the future, how to tackle with our, um, with our future endeavors. And one last thing here with uh, the Hierophant, it is that <clears throat> should we face some certain problems 
uh, in a sense of you know how to be successful or how to perform better into our relationship and etc etc the, the answer to those issues is residing within the framework of the issue itself so um, we are just going to find them okay we don't have to look very far and, and that's why we need that break so we can become aware what we are doing wrong if we are doing wrong at all something and how we can fix it so moving next we do have the challenges that we have to overcome here and that will be the challenge of the six of swords so um through the situation and through the um through the energies these uh, new ways that we are to adopt are going to look a bit alien to us. As a matter of fact, uh, we may be a bit afraid, you know, to incorporate those ways. I mean, doing something without getting paid or it's kind of like um, going with the trust and the, uh, and the reliability instead with the emotions. You know, that, that, that may be something new for some of us. And uh, with the Six of Swords, that is exactly the threshold that needs to be traversed here. So that is the challenge to um, suppress the fear of what follows after when you go against, you know, your beliefs. Because with the Hierophant into the energy, it is very likely that our beliefs are going to be changed to a certain extent and it is important to follow these new beliefs that we are going to adopt so we can improve drastically our circumstances because the six of swords is all about that making the leap toward the unknown which anything that you are going to face into the unknown it is better than what you do have right now and therefore it is just you know it improves your circumstances there is no other way to uh, to say it uh, and what is going to be the unknown though so we do have that card here, which is the gifts and the blessings. And that is a person coming to either offer us something or to help us with something. Okay. And that is exactly what is the important event that is lurking behind the corner. Right. That is exactly the thing we need in order to improve our circumstances. Now, the question is, can I trust that person? Well, the energy says, yes, you can trust that person because uh, this person has, uh, it could manifest in a couple of ways. Now, if this is about a, a career manifestation, then this one uh, is having a very objective opinion of your skills, you know, and of your performance overall. And they are shooting you with an offer either through help you or just offering you a new job say because they find that you are going to be a good asset to their company or to their agenda if that's about relationship that is a person who is capable of a deep feelings but on the surface they look like emotionally deprived because they mm, they do believe that they should reveal their feelings only toward those that they have those feelings toward, okay, if that makes sense. So they are not going to shout out how much they like you or how much they love you. Uh, as a matter of fact, they will stay completely passive in front of the world. But when you are alone, you know, only two of you, then they are going to express how much they like you or how much they love you. So if that's, uh, for example, a girlfriend that you want to brag about, and uh, that's not exactly the, the, the thing that you're going to get. But if you are after, for example, a faithful boyfriend. Well, that's your faithful boyfriend. Okay. Uh, the next one, it is the impression that you're going to leave into the people around. And most importantly, the impression that you are going to leave into this King of, Cup, King of Cups. Well, that is the star card. And pretty much the people are going to see you as a pinnacle of their criteria, as their idealistic hopes. Okay. So you can expect to attract a bunch of guys or girls or or you just name it with the star card you are just the source of the unfolding love and the unconditional support okay so it's like you are the dream of that what they what they have you may be the dream for their business you may be the dream for their relationship not for everybody you know but for the majority of the people around and uh, uh, th therefore you are going to find a lot a lot of support from all that are surrounding you but the support from only one individual it is what is important for you and that is this person the king of cups like i said you are going to recognize that person by uh when they uh by uh, 
by them addressing you specifically okay it's not like they are addressing everybody and you are stepping out in front of anybody what they are offering is unique to you they're not offering it to anybody else and that is how you are going to recognize this king of cups what i'm saying that is not the player who is trying to be with everybody and just you know you're giving them a chance that is not the boss who offered you the position just because five five people before you rejected it all right that is the person who shoots you with a unique offer or a helping hand and you gotta get it and pretty much with the star card people were seeing you as a very innocent and very pure human being that they definitely need to have the very least in their social circle so what is going to be the guidance for you scorpio we do have the five of pentacles and here the five of pentacles only says that from now on into your future you don't have to be alone and when a helping hand or an offer comes to you there is no need whatsoever to reject it okay that that is what the five of pentacles points on a more global level the five of pentacles uh tells us scorpio that um whatever problems we are facing right now those problems are just trifles and if we focus on them then we can definitely overcome them with ease so that being said guys this was your our weekly tarot reading for june 1st to june 7 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it just as much as i did and uh, once again if you're interested in a private reading you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can purchase such and as well if you're interested into learning tarot cards and start reading them the way i do uh, my a tarot class is starting at 21st of June, the beginner's tarot class. To sign up for it, you have to go to my website uh, and purchase it from the tarot classes section. It's a six weeks long a tarot class with a lecture every week, uh, which is a two hours of a duration each lecture, I mean. And hopefully by the end, you will, uh, you will be able to uh, read your own uh, readings. So that being said, we may see each other around. And until then, bye.